Smart symposiums have been installed in all of the mid to large sized video conferencing rooms throughout the University of the Highlands and Islands. There is a digital pen attached to the symposium, as you can see in this image. Smart Notebook is a piece of software developed to accompany the symposium and thus will be installed on the PC in the VC rooms. When you run Smart Notebook, a welcome screen may appear, which you can close to access the main program window itself. Along the top are the menus, and just underneath are the main tools. Especially important are those towards the right of the toolbar. I have the Maths Tools add-on installed, and I have additional tools on the bottom left of the toolbar. You can flick the toolbar to the bottom of the screen, or the top, whichever you prefer to work with. On the left are a number of tabs. Currently showing is the Pages tab, and if I just insert a blank page, you can see it appear on the Pages tab, and this is how you would move from page to page. Looking at the other tabs, I think the Properties tab is one which is used a lot, and here you can pick colours for objects, line types and widths, etc. Then we have the Attachments tab so that you can attach other files and hyperlinks to a notebook file for quick and easy access during a class. The gallery is the last tab and I deal with that in a separate videocast. There are a large number of tools and images etc in the gallery that can be used in different ways. You can also save your own frequently used objects in My Content. The white area on the right of the screen is the main page. I'll place some objects on the page and I'll start with typed text. I'll just pick this quick style for now. Click on the screen and type. You'll see the text box resizes as you type. While the type tool is active, you can resize a text box by dragging the little circle on the left or right edges of the box. Look for the double arrow cursor. While the type tool is active, you can select the text and change the colour, font face or size using the formatting toolbar. Having finished typing, I'll switch to the select arrow and now I can resize the text object by dragging on the small grey circle at the bottom right of the text box. You'll notice that the text resizes with the text box. You can use the green circle at the top of the object to rotate. When you hover over the green circle, you'll see the cursor change to a curved double arrow, and then you can click on it and move the mouse around. I'll just go to Edit Undo to reset this. If you click and drag within the object, you can move it around the page. The pen tool is used to select a pen style, and again you have a quick format toolbar, but you could also use the Properties tab on the left of the screen. It's easier to write with the actual pen on the symposium, but I'll just use the mouse for now. The interesting thing about Smart Notebook is that if I switch to the Select arrow, and select my handwritten text, I can now click on the arrow at the top right of the text box and I see that my bad writing has been recognised and I can change it to type. The Creative Pen tool is useful for drawing pretty lines. You can change the width of the line but not the style. I'll write some more with a pen just to show that handwriting is recognised even if you use a broken line style. It's actually very forgiving. I'll spread this out a lot but it is still recognised correctly. One thing you will find is that if you change pen colour as you write, your text will not be seen as a single object. All you have to do is select the first piece of text, hold the shift key and select the other pieces of text. Then click on the arrow at the top right and select Grouping, Group from the drop-down menu. 
Then click that same arrow again and your handwriting will be recognised as usual. Grouping is useful. You could use this when you insert an image on the page and type the attribution in a text box. You could group the two so that you can treat them as a single object. I'm going to select Edit Clear Page so that I can start afresh to quickly show some other tools. I'll just make a little scribble with a creative pen so that I can demonstrate the eraser. The line tool also has a quick format toolbar. A useful line type is the curved line. Click where you want to start and drag to the end point and then drag the cursor up or down. The shapes tool has quite a range of different shapes. Look for the tiny arrow on the right or left of its quick format toolbar. Now I'll use the fill bucket to colour these outlines. Quite a range of options as you can see. The shape recognition pen is good at making decent shapes out of rough scribbles, but you have to draw in a single movement and it works for closed shapes, not lines. The magic pen has three functions. First you can write something on the page and it disappears after a few seconds, useful for highlighting things with an arrow or a circle. Second, it can work as a magnifier. I'll just delete these shapes and insert an image to demonstrate this. As with the text, you can click within an image to move it and you can rotate it. A useful feature is the ability to lock objects down. This software was developed to enable interactivity so objects can be moved, animated, rotated, etc. in the course of a class, but there will be some that you will want to lock in place. I'll insert a video file to demonstrate that you can handle video objects in the same manner. If I reduce the size considerably, it still plays perfectly, or if I rotate, it still plays. Again, a video clip might be an object you would want to lock in place. Coming back to the magic pen, you'll remember the disappearing ink. If you use it to draw a square, you get a magnifier which you can resize or move. It works pretty well on text. Use the magic pen to draw a circle and you get a spotlight which you can move around by dragging on the blue border. Hover over the spotlight until you see the double-headed arrow and you can resize it. Smart Notebook can be used like presentation software and you would use this group of tools in the middle of the toolbar. Whilst in a presentation you might wish to have a screen shade, the first button, which you can drag from any edge to reveal the contents. I imagine the second in the group of four would be the one most used for showing a presentation full screen. In the presentation you have a small toolbar so that you can move from slide to slide. Smart Notebook files can be saved in the usual manner by selecting File, Save As from the menus. From there you can browse to My Documents, your pen drive or your H drive. Usually you just want to save images or video clips or audio to My Content within the gallery but you can also save whole pages to My Content. The easiest way to do that is to click on the Pages tab, right-click the page and select Save Page to Gallery. If I come out of the program just now and then go back in, I'll browse to the gallery and check My Content and we'll see that the whole page has been saved there.
Further tutorials are available in the VLE.